Hello everyone and welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We're glad you're tuned in. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Southern Oregon PBS, KTVL, KDRV, and the Dove Network. Thank you for hosting us on your station. In the Medford School District, we have one shared vision and that we believe that all are learning and learning is for all. And what better place to do that than right here on Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Hi everyone, it's Miss Britt and Teacher Connor from the Learning Loft Preschool at Kid Time Children's Museum and today we are on a weather adventure. And I don't know how this happened, you guys, but suddenly I am in the middle of a snowstorm. It's freezing out here. I think it's as cold as maybe 10 or 15 degrees out. The air is really, really, really chilly and I am not dressed appropriately for this. I need some weather gear. Will you guys help me with that? Okay, so here's what I have. I have sunscreen, an umbrella, I have a warm, cozy hat, rain boots, sunglasses, some warm, cozy gloves, and a raincoat. Hmm. What should I put on? What would help me stay warm and cozy on this cold, snowy day? Hmm. Would sunglasses work? No. Okay. Um. Oh, I know. Would the gloves help? Would that keep my hands warm on a snowy, cold winter day? Yeah? Okay, cool. So I've got gloves. What about... Hmm. What the... Which one? Which one do you think would keep me warm on a cold winter day? A warm fuzzy hat or sunblock? Warm fuzzy hat? Okay, perfect. I have everything I need for a cold winter day. Here I go. Oh, whoa, what happened? Okay, this is not what I need on a bright sunny day. Okay, this is, I am not dressed appropriately again for the weather. It is so hot out. Oh, the sun, it feels really warm on my skin. There is no fresh air right now. And I think it's maybe like 80 or 90 degrees outside. Whew, the sun is so bright. Okay, will you guys help me pick the right weather equipment? All right, I have my umbrella. Hmm, I have my raincoat. Oh, I still have those warm, fuzzy gloves. Or sunscreen. Hmm, which one would work better for a hot summer day? Warm, fuzzy gloves or sunscreen? Totally right. Sunscreen would help protect my body and my skin from the sun, which is really helpful on a hot summer day. But the sun is so bright. Oh, I need something to protect my eyes. Hmm, maybe my rain boots? No, no. Hmm, oh, I know what could work. Sunglasses. If I put on my sunglasses, that will totally help protect me on a warm, hot summer day. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not good, you guys. It's pouring outside and I really wanted to go outside and play and splash in puddles and I am not dressed appropriately again. Okay, sunglasses are not gonna be of any help and it's not really super hot out, it's just wet. What would help on a wet, rainy spring day? Hmm. I know I could wear my raincoat and sunscreen? No, 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 no sunscreen. The sun isn't out, it's raining. Oh, I know I could bring my umbrella with me. But there's still something I'm missing. I need something so that I could jump in those puddles. 
Huh. What would be good for puddle jumping? <gasps> You're right. I could totally wear my rain boots. If I had on rain boots and a raincoat and I had my umbrella, I think it'd be perfect for rainy days. But you know what? When I go outside and I play in the rain, it always makes me think of weather music. And I have a friend who knows a whole bunch of weather songs. Do you think we could find Teacher Connor and see if he could sing some weather songs with us when we go outside with our rain boots and our raincoat and our umbrella? Should we try and find him? All right, let's go see if we can find him. Hey guys, I am Teacher Connor and you have found me. And I have been informed that you would like to hear a song about weather. Well, it just so happens that I know a song about weather. That would be perfect for this sunny weather. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Well, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, well, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. All these children are asking you Please come out so we can play with you Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun Please shine down on me Very nice job! That was absolutely perfect for this sunny weather. Now thankfully nothing could possibly change about this weather here. Oh dear, it changed, didn't it? All right, we might have to alter the lyrics slightly. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Snow, Snow, Mr. Fluffy Snow, please fall down on me. Oh, Mr. Snow, Snow, Mr. Fluffy Snow, swirling around in the breeze. All these children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Snow, Snow, Mr. Fluffy Snow, please fall down on me. See, perfect snow music. Absolutely nothing could change because that is a perfect snow song. Thankfully, we're stuck in this snow. Wait a second, it's not snowing anymore. Okay. All right, guys. This is getting a little tiring, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. All right. Uh, we might have to alter it from a snow song to a uh, cloudy rain song. You ready? Wish us luck. Oh, Mrs. Cloud, Cloud, Mrs. Stormy Cloud, please rain down on me. Oh, Mrs. Cloud, Cloud, Mrs. Stormy Cloud, hiding behind that tree. All these children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Mrs. Cloud, Cloud, Mrs. Stormy Cloud, please rain down on me. Oof. All right, I guess we're stuck with the uh, stormy weather for a while. That's good, because I was did not want to sing another verse at all. Oh, come on, guys, really? All right, final verse, here we go, you ready? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. All these children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down, down on me. All right, we did it. All right, guys. I just got back from vacation from Madagascar, and I brought with me a bunch of souvenirs. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to take pictures when I'm on vacation. What do you take pictures of, Teacher Connor? You know, the usual things. Um, clouds that look like letters. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't you do that? No, I, I never have, but that sounds like a really fun hobby. You know, it's not just a hobby. It can be an epic, fun game. And a game that I hereby challenge you to, Miss Britt. Okay, I, I love a good competition. Tell me the rules. I'm ready to play. All right. Now, in this pile, I have a bunch of pictures that I have taken of clouds that look like letters. 
Okay. I'm going to shuffle these pictures up. And then what we're going to do is reveal one picture of one letter. Then you and I will go back and forth saying as many words as we can that start with that letter. The first person to say a wrong word or can't come up with a word uh, does not gain the point. The person, the other person gains the point. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I can do this. I know a lot of words that start with letter sounds. I totally got this. Should we start? <sighs> Let's do this. All right, here comes the shuffle. It's shuffling all up. Shuffling, 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 shuffling. And I'm going to go with... Boom. That, my friend, is a J. Now, I'll, I'll start this off, if that's all right. Yeah, you that's ready? a hard letter. I'm a little nervous. No. J, I'm going to go with jail. Who? Jump. Mm. <laughs> Jester. Jack. Jacob. Uh, kangaroo. Does kangaroo start with J? Oh. No, kangaroo totally starts with a k, k, kangaroo. And we were looking for words that started with a j, j, j for jump or jack. Oh, okay, That's you okay. get the point on that one. That's okay. I think we'll, we'll, we'll try again. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. I um, got this one. Would you like to start, Miss Brick? I would love to start. Mom. Museum. Music. Mister. Monster. Oh. Elephant. Mm -mm. Oh. That does not start with a m, m, m sound, Teacher Connor. Oh. Yeah. That's a good try. That's but one point for you, Miss Britt. One to one. We're all tied up. What's our next letter? I'm ready. All righty. All righty. All righty. Hmm. Fertilizer. Whew. That was a good word. Family. Franklin. Fantastic. Fortune. Fabulous. Fabric. Fast. Fun. Oh, I can't think of one, Teacher Connor. You stumped me again. <sighs> what can I say? <sighs> All right, that means two points for Teacher Connor and one point for Miss Britt. Okay. We have two more. All right, it is time for the final two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Boom. This letter. I think Europe? Yeah, this is a hard letter. G can make a couple sounds, but I think, Teacher Connor, for this time, we should stick with the g, g, g sound. And I'm going to start with gorilla. Gorilla. Ooh, that's a good one. Grape. Ooh, good one. Gum. Grasp. Gorgonzola. I got nothing. That's a good one. Very good job, Miss Britt. You Thanks. win this round, which means that it's two to two. And it all comes down to this final letter. You know, I worked very hard on taking these pictures. They're beautiful pictures. Thank you, Miss Britt. You're welcome. The final letter is the letter S. It's my favorite letter. I am so excited for this round. Waiting your whole life for this. You I guys have ready? Been. Here we go. I think I start up. Go for it. Sandwich. Silly. School. Samson. Sand. Sarcastic. Song. Salivate. Style. Slimy. Switch. Santa. Sh swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. Do you know what a swashbuckler is? Okay. Swing. Santa? I already said ah! Santa. Yes. Oh, that was a good round. 
Can you guys think of any S words at home to help Teacher Connor out? Maybe something that starts with a S sound for S. Oh, those are good ones. Those are, I should have thought of that one. I didn't think of that one either. Those were really good words. Very impressive. Well, thanks for playing this game with us, guys. That was really fun. Thanks, guys. We have brought a book for you today, and not just any book. One that we are going to sing and not just read. It's called It's Raining, It's Pouring. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't get up in the morning. It's cloudy, it's breezy, the old man is sneezy. He blew so hard that he moved the stars, but of course that wasn't easy. It's snowing, it's blowing, the old man is growing. He ate so much one day for lunch, every part of him was showing. It's warm out and sunny, the old man loves his honey. He tried to seize a batch from the bees, but of course they didn't find it funny. It's cool, damp, and chilly. The old man's name is Willie. He tripped and fell in a big oh well. Oh my gosh, did he look silly. It's gusty, it's windy. The old man's wife is Cindy. With ants in their pants, they started a dance and ended up doing the Lindy. Whatever the season, cloudy, sunny, or breezing, if he gets to bed without bumping his head, and the old man finds it pleasing. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm going to read a book today called Little Tree by Lauren Long. Once there was a little tree filled with little leaves who was surrounded by other little trees who had little leaves of their own. In the heat of long summer days, little trees' leaves kept him cool. The squirrels would climb up on his branches to play. The morning dove landed in him and sang her fluty song. The little tree was sure to grow up big and strong. Autumn arrived and cool winds filled the air. The wind tickled the little tree as it passed through the branches and ruffled his leaves. The air grew cold and the leaves on all of the trees changed colors, becoming yellow, red, and orange. Then, one by one, the trees began to drop their leaves. But not Little Tree. He just hugged his leaves tight. Hello, Little Tree, said a squirrel. You're supposed to drop your leaves now. But Little Tree was unsure. What would he do without his leaves? Winter came. What are you doing with leaves still on you? Asked the doe. Little tree hugged the leaves tight. Springtime arrived, and the little forest burst into life again, and the other tre trees grew bright new leaves. The squirrels played in their branches. Little tree could hear the morning dove sing her fluty song. The seasons continue to come and go. Little tree, quacked a duck, your leaves are brown. Are you feeling sick? A fox said, little tree, it's autumn. It's time for you to drop your leaves. You can do it. Ready? One, two. But little tree just hugged his leaves tight. All around the forest grew and grew. One summer, little tree could no longer feel the sunlight. The squirrels played high above on the broad, tall trees, and the morning dove sang so far away that he could hardly hear her fluty song. Autumn came again. Leaves began to blanket the ground. Little tree looked up at the other trees, at their branches reaching high into the sky. He remembered when the trees had all been his size. And then, he let go.
as his last leaf floated to the ground. For the first time, Little Tree felt the harsh cold of winter. But in time, something happened. Once there was a little tree. The end. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. That was a blast talking about weather, playing all those games, singing those songs. Thanks. And Miss Britt and I hope we see you guys soon. See ya. See you next time. Hi, I'm Katie Cutsforth, and I teach kindergarten at Jacksonville Elementary. I brought a friend with me today. Hi, I'm Kristen Robinson, and I teach kindergarten at Kennedy Elementary here in Medford, Oregon. Today, we want to talk to you about the weather. I brought a card with me that says, I can observe weather to find patterns over time. The time that we're thinking about today are days of the week. And we have a song for you, and it's called Just That, Days of the Week. So get your hands ready to snap with us. And here we go. Okay. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days, days of the, of the week, week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Now that you've tried it one time, you can totally do it again, but with a different voice. You can get any voice you want. You can pretend that your voice is really high, or you can pretend that your voice is really low. That's so you can neat. pretend your voice is squeaky. Oh. Have some fun with it, but okay. still get your hands ready. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Days of the week. <gasps> Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 That was fun, Kristen. Thank I you for singing it. with me. Thanks, Katie. Oh. Okay. Now that we've talked to you about weather over time, there's another time that we're thinking of too. Make sure that while you're watching TV school and while you're learning with your families at home, that you keep track of the date. So the date talks about a couple of things. It talks about the month, it talks about the day, which is what we call the date, and the year, which we know is 2020. Amazing things are happening in 2020. Now, I have a poem for you about the weather, and all you have to do is listen. Some of you might know this, and if you do, you can say it along. So here okay. we go. Whether the weather be fine, or whether the weather be not, whether the weather be cold, or whether the weather be hot, whoo wee! We'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. It's been pretty cloudy lately, I have a poem that I love about clouds. Now, sometimes with clouds comes rain, so I'm gonna get my umbrella ready just in case it rains later. So here's a, a poem about clouds. It's called White Sheep. They're not really white sheep, but if you look carefully, sometimes the clouds in the sky, they look like white sheep. So here we go. White sheep, white sheep on a blue hill. When the wind stops, you all stand still. And when the wind blows, you walk away slow. White sheep, white sheep, where do you go? You could totally draw a picture. You could color your paper blue. You could put white sheep on it and you could practice writing the date. Now, good thing we got our umbrellas ready because sometimes clouds they open up and rain comes out. I better get my umbrella ready. Okay. Kristen, get your umbrella ready in okay. case it rains. Okay, Miss Katie, I have okay. my umbrella open and ready. The <gasps> earth is wet. The sky is gray. It looks like it will rain 
all day. It's been raining lately. Good thing I had my umbrella, but I know. Also, sometimes it's windy. So I'm going to put my umbrella away. Sometimes the wind turns your umbrella inside out. So I'm going to keep my arms out. I'm going to make myself into a tree. And I'm going to do a poem about wind. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. And sometimes the wind, it changes and it goes the other way. Whoa. Oh. And now it's still. Now, my favorite I saved my favorite for last. Kristen, I hope you'll sing with me. I can't wait. I better get my sunglasses <gasps> oh. for this one. One of my favorites is when it's sunny. Now that sky is really big, so I need big sunglasses. I hope these will work. I'm going to wow. sing, and Kristen's going to sing with me. We're going to sing, you are my sunshine. One and a two and a one, two, three. Three. You are now my sunshine, my, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, Katie, I love oh, that, that song. Oh, that was so fun singing with you, Kristen. Thank you. So at home, find a piece of paper. Look out your window. Study that weather whether we like it or not. Practice writing the date and draw a picture of today's weather or even your favorite weather. I hope you have fun talking about the weather with your families and I hope you have fun making a picture of today's weather. Thanks for tuning in to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Medford School District is a place where all are learning, and learning is for all. My name is Lisa Rollman. I am a Title I specialist here at Howard. This is the zone. Welcome. Students are welcome to come into the zone either scheduled or unscheduled. Some kids will come when their lid is flipped and they just need to find a space to calm down and get their lid on. They need, their nervous system needs to regulate. Some kids will come in when their nervous system is pretty regulated, but they need to, um, to maintain regulation. And so if their lid is flipped, they're gonna go to one of the calming spaces. If they're ready to relate and reason, their lid is on, then they're going to come over here and do the mood meter. Bryce, how are you feeling right now? Why don't, you, why don't we do you as an example? Let's remind him. What do we work on? Pleasantness, energy, mood, emotion. Pleasantness is a plus five. And that is the x-axis, right? Plus five on the x-axis. And my energy is a minus one. My energy is a minus one. That's the y-axis. He landed right here again. So they come to this table to really name their emotion. Think about how that's working for them. How is that working for other people? How are they expressing it? Decide if they want to shift or stay. And then they would pick a strategy, right? And they all kind of know what strategies work for them. Max is doing a strategy right now. Max is doing building. We respond with radical calmness and we set up a room that all students could come to that felt safe where they could calm down and, all, and they, they could predict the adult's response to them was going to be positive, connecting, and just really calm. Once we established that, then we could move away from just responding to actually teaching. So now everything we do, this is a classroom, the kids know that. It's about learning. We learn about emotion. So anybody who comes to Howard can feel that, that it's radically calm. We still have kids that are dysregulated, kids that are learning how to regulate, uh, but they can predict that the adult response is going to be one of radical calmness.